Nine Trace lining up. Mr. McLeod, West Ed Jardis, East Coast down. Roscoe's Child, Tobin's Knockout. Starlight Pilot, J.J. Jones, to leave it with me, the trailer eyes of glory. Top of the stretch. Approaching a start. They're off and pacing, and West Ed Jardis leaving out along the rail. Mr. McLeod will be second into the turn. Going into third, that's Roscoe's Child. Away fourth, Eyes of Glory. East Coast down fifth. Then in sixth, Starlight Pilot. Up on the outside, seventh. J.J. Jodzner towards the rail. Tobin's knockout and the trailer. Leave it with me. They're up the back stretch for time one. Going to the first quarter, led by West Ed Jardis in line to Gary Chapel this night. Second along the rail, Mr. McLeod. Away third. That's Roscoe's Child. Eyes of Glory coming to the outside early from fourth. Facing fifth is East Coast down. Starlight Pilots in sixth. Tobin's knockout seventh. Then in eighth, J.J. Jodster, leave it with me, sees them all from nine. Thirty and two fifths was the opening quarter. West Ed Jardis, the fraction center, straightening down the stretch with the opening half mile in his sights. From the outside, it's eyes of glory right there in the pocket. Mr. McLeod third. Coming up fourth on the outside is East Coast down. On the rail, fifth. That's Roscoe's child. Tobin's knockout is third over six. Starlight Pilot seventh. J.J. Joe's to eighth. And leave it with me ninth. One minute. Four fifths was the opening half mile. Consecutive 30 and two splits. To the back stretch they go. Second and final time. Three quarters the next station. And it's West End Yard is the leader. Coming three wide. East Coast down. Coming now second. Third on the rail is Mr. McLeod. Eyes of glory hangs on the outside. Fourth in fifth and nowhere to go. That's Roscoe's child. Three quarters up in 130 and three. 29 and four in the third. Eighth of a mile out. East Coast down. From the outside, the leader, West Ed Jardis, now second. Mr. McLeod, third. Eyes of Glory, J.J. Jodster, coming late. In between them, Roscoe's Child to the wire next. Roscoe's Child might have got there on the end of it. With East Coast down and a closing, J.J. Jodster, picture time. Two minutes, two fifths. We're going to bring up the uh, replay here, folks. But again, another great finish here at Red Shores tonight. And it might have been the veteran. We talked about him with the back class. Wow, that's close at the wire there. That's the one replay. We'll show you the uh, slow-mo here in just a moment. But what another great finish here tonight at Red Shores. And here is the slow-mo tonight. Uh, you can see East Coast Down, who had raced great, made a three-wide move towards the three-quarters and was able to clear as they headed down the stretch. And you can see here he's trying to hang on, but the horse is to the far outside. J.J. Jodster, who made a big move as well, is closing hard. And in the middle, you can see in the middle of those two, with the green saddlecloth number four is Roscoe's Child. And boy, he's going to split horses here late. The three on the inside, the seven on the outside. Roscoe's Child in the middle, reaching up maybe to win this here in the ninth. Well, that was some fancy stick handling by driver McPherson during that home stretch, but he got 
Roscoe's Child's nose on the line first here in the ninth race. They're in the winner's circle. Roscoe's Child, Bay Pace and Gelding, now 10 by Collector Road. Off the Hunterstown Dam, Shortcut Maggie, the homebred of the Selkirk Stable of Belfast, trained by Raymond White. Corey McPherson has his third on the night for his triple. The mile in two minutes and two fifths. Roscoe's Child and the McPherson Hattrick. 